and welcome back to some more Dreamfall chapters. So we are just resuming exactly where we left off, pretty much. So we're just gonna have a little look around here. Don't know what that is. Don't know what it said. Interesting. Those are some portentous looking books. I wish I could read them. Okay, can I talk to him? Have you found anything of interest? Keep looking. This place is a treasure trove. I did find something. So, I guess that's not what I'm meant to be looking for. Abnaxus was a very well-read man. Thing. Ah, another note. Don't know what it says. Hmm. Another one. Pick it up. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I found a bunch of notes. Wonder if I could go up yes. the stairs. The camera has been a little bit dodgy. Woohoo! So many of those things. Um, I don't really know. There are enough musty old books here to fill a university library's special collection of musty old books. Mm-hmm. Let's pick that one up. Okay. Found a bunch of notes. Maybe I should just go back down and tell him I found notes. And a lot of them. Well, four. Ebnoxus left so much behind. There's a wealth of information. Those here. are some portentous looking books. Okay, I, I guess I there must them. be one more that I've missed. There has to be. Let's go back up the stairs. There must be more than one up here. Um. See, I don't really know whether to trust that guy either. To be honest, I, I just, I don't know. Just books. Books, books, and more books. Maybe I should look at the books here. Abnaxus was a very well-read man. Thing. There are enough musty old books here to fill a uni- Those are some portentous looking books. I wish I could read them. Hmm. Must be downstairs. There's not really anything else up here. Um. That's just books course it is. I don't see another note. Am I meant to be? Abnaxus was a very okay. well read man thing. Okay. Definitely do not see any more notes. Um I see. Examine. Looks like a handwritten note. Hmm. It's another one of Abnaxus's notes. Okay. Westhouse might be able to decipher that note. Mm-hmm. Notes. Notes everywhere. I can't combine any of the notes. Okay. Um. Definitely do not see any more. Uh... Can I leave? I don't think I'm meant to leave. You see, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Mr. Westhouse, Brian. He seems very this enthusiastic and friendly. Probably. I have a hard time reading him, to be honest. Hmm. Without a reference to the Purple Mountains, that map won't help me. Okay. It's a map of the Northlands, and the border mountains are right at the top, but no purple mountains. All those years Lots of other mountains, right though. Here under my nose. What was right here under your nose? Okay, let's have another little look a look. See, it's just books and books and books and more books. Okay, there, w there was a note there. More books. 
Okay. I'm going to try and talk to him, but I don't think it's going to be any different. <laughs> uh, let's speak to him. If you see anything that looks relevant, let me know. I can probably decipher it for you. Can I give you that? What do you think this means? Hmm. I'm not sure there's much to learn from that one. Okay. This looks interesting. The first dreamer references in the annals of dreaming. Uh, that's this book right here. And the chapter about the first dream, it's certainly a starting point. Let's see what it says. Can you read that book? I've lived in Arcadia for decades, and there hasn't been much to do aside from studying ancient texts. So yes, I can read this book. Let's see, the chapter in question speaks of the Ular. They are said to be wardens of the Dreaming One, whatever that means. It's a rough translation. The English language isn't quite up to the task. The Ular and the Yete, one people that split into two, that sounds familiar. It says here, the Yete left the Purple Mountains to go south to burrow into the ground something about a well of dreams. I mean, I don't know how much of this is true and how much is fantasy or prophecy. It's a, a difficult book to decipher. There's also something about two dreamers becoming one. It's vague. This is almost certainly a prophecy of some sort. The Ular live on Cloud Peak. It's in the mountains of Yedra. Where is that on the map? Ah, there it is. Straight north across the plains, right in the middle of the border mountains. This is an old book, so I don't know if they still live there. I've never heard of the Ular. They might all be dead. Okay, so he dropped this. I wanted that. That note fell out of the annals when Westhouse turned the pages. Okay. Let's see if he has anything to say about this note. Here's another note. On the matter of the kin and the approaching war of the balance. <laughs> By Jove, this is the information we've been looking for. I can't believe it was right here all this time. Your help has been invaluable, Zoe. I'm in your debt. Okay. What about this note? What do you think this means? Hmm. I'm not sure there's much to learn from that one. Okay. And give him this. This note fell out from the pages of the annals. What's a soulless stone? I'm not sure. The soul stone was taken from Luke's by the warlock Clax. It must be retrieved or the past, present, and future will cease to be. That sounds ominous. It does indeed. I don't know about any soul stone, but I'm guessing this Clax fellow does. I wonder if Abnaxus means old Roper Clax. April told me his story. He was a two-bit wizard who resided in a floating castle up north near the border mountains. April said she taught him a lesson. She didn't get into any details, but he lost his castle. Last I heard, he's doing children's theater here in town. Reformed, apparently, if that's a thing a wizard is capable of. Sounds like this soul stone is important. Mm. Okay, let's talk to him, see if he says anything. I'm sorry, did you want something? Um, I guess not. Hmm. What's our goal? There are enough musty old books here to fill a university library's special collection of musty old books. Okay, maybe I can take the map then. I'm sure Abnaxus won't mind me borrowing this. I'll return it to him in person. Okay, if I make Finally, it to Cloud Goals updated. When you're ready, head back to town to find Rupert Ro Roper Clax. Okay. Let's go. I should get going. Should we? Would you mind terribly if I stayed here to read these books? Well, this is... it's private property, isn't it? 
Obnoxus isn't coming back, and I've been itching for a chance to peruse his library for years now. I promise I won't remove anything or make a mess. He might have the best of intentions, but I made a promise to Blind Bob. I'd feel awful if anything happened to Obnoxus's abode. It doesn't look like Brian's going to do any damage to the place. He's respectful and curious. It couldn't hurt to let him stay. No. Nope. He might have the best. Of I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think I can let you stay in here. I'm not sure I need your permission. I Only joking. <laughs> I understand. I'll take my leave now, Miss Castillo. I certainly hope we'll see each other again soon. See, I don't fully trust them and I don't want to betray blind Bob. You know, let's go. I don't think I'd, I'd like to leave him there. I don't know. I don't know. I hope that was the right decision. I really do. But let me know what you guys would have done. If you would have let him stay. Or told him to leave. Oh my days, it's really cold. I'm absolutely freezing. I feel like I'm about to start shivering. And this loading screen is taking forever. Oh, come on. Seriously. Didn't you say something about a wizard and a puppet show? No. No, you did. You said something about a show in the square. I did not. Crow. Oh, right, right! Roper Clax's Fingerlings! Man, that show's great. A modern classic. Clax. He's the wizard April Ryan fought. That's right. He was behaving badly, so she fought him and trapped him inside some sort of calculating machine. Pretty clever stuff. Where can I find this puppet show? I'll show you. Okay. Wow. What happened there? Okay, let's go. Up the stairs we go. Up, up, up. Um, I don't know. There's birds there. I think I know where I'm going anyways because we, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know if I did that out or not, but I spoke to someone about the puppet show. Oh my gosh, tired. I think I'm dehydrated. Probably somebody stuck. No, he's not. Here it is. This is the show. I feel better having Crow around, even though I'm not sure what he can do. Still, a useless sidekick is better than no sidekick. This I, I'm not saying he's useless. Very true. Is he behind here? Can I get behind here? Hmm. Aha. Here he is. If you'll seek an autograph, you must purchase my book first. It's on sale today, only... No, sorry. I, I need to talk to you. Talk, hmm? Well, I only have a few minutes before my show begins, but I'm sure I can spare a couple of them for a pretty young thing like you. Okay, let's ask about this. This has you are Roper Clax, right? The wizard? Who told you that? Well, that sign, for one. No, the, the wizard part. Who told you? I mean, uh, I'm merely a humble finger puppeteer trying to make an honest living in a cold and heartless world. <laughs> but you were a wizard once. Fully rehabilitated, I don't go anywhere near sorcery. Not anymore. You should really read my highly acclaimed and best-selling memoir, A Farewell to My Wizarding Ways. It's a thrilling story of redemption and romance, of dashing heroes and wicked villainesses, of flying castles and curious calculating devices. Every word of it as true as the night is dark and the day is bright, of course. <laughs> Hmm, let's ask about this. I might as well get one. Do you recall owning a soul stone? A soul stone? I... I don't know what you're talking about. I was just wondering, since there are so many impressive tales about your powers where I come from. And where would that be? Um... That 
was a long time ago. In another life, I've moved on. I'm a different person now in every way. I was just wondering what happened to the stone. She took it, that bitch. Balance, pardon me. I don't know where that came from. Who? The Yaga. The Wicked Witch of the North, as these simpletons call her. As if they have any idea who and what she truly is. She lurks in Riverwood in the dark places. She feeds on that stone like a... <coughs> like I said, that's in the past and I've left it all behind long ago. Now I make an honest living bringing joy to children through my most excellent and revolutionary finger puppet theatre. And on that note, I must beg your pardon, young miss. The show is about to begin. <laughs> Can we please talk again afterwards? I have some more questions. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Absolutely after the show. After the show, yes, 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 yes. Toodaloo! <laughs> okay. Yes, here we go. This is gonna be so good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humans and... Well, humans. And you, Azadi soldier standing over there, you're welcome to watch. Just don't rattle your sabers or rustle your suits. Uh, welcome to this morning's performance of... The Fingerlings. Uh, I am your host and puppeteer, Rupa Klax, esteemed thespian and raconteur, author and entrepreneur. My book is available for purchase with a free, personalized dedication. Speak to me after the show. A donation is both appreciated and expected. Drop your coins into the box after the show. Remember that every iron piece goes towards a good purpose. woo <laughs> Go fingerlings! My beloved fingerlings, handcrafted reproductions of renowned actors from across Arcadia, immortalized in finger puppet form by skilled artisans. Using only the finest fabrics and natural materials, these lovely creatures are as dear to me as children and as talented and protean as the finest human players. You're all welcome to approach the stage after the show, of course, to admire my finely crafted miniatures up close and intimately. No food, no touching, no children. And now, beloved audience, prepare yourselves for a journey into mystery for a true story of wizardry and magic. I present to you the tale of the good-hearted wizard and the villainous winch. Once upon a time in the distant north, there lived a kindly old wizard in a wonderful flying castle. This very friendly wizard liked to tease and toy with the people of the land, and sometimes he would do silly things like turn them into stone or furry animals and Bottle up the wind. <laughs> Naturally, he meant no harm, and the people of the land loved the wizard like they would a grandfather, a very young and very, very handsome grandfather. But one day, an evil sorceress from a distant land came to visit the kindly wizard. This ugly, selfish witch didn't understand that the wizard was only trying to make people happy. She used her dark sorcery to steal all of his possessions and trap him inside a tiny little box where the gentle wizard was barely able to breathe. The poor old man was trapped for many moons inside this box before a benevolent wandering god arrived to free him from his prison. The wizard pledged eternal allegiance to the wandering god, 
in return for vengeance against the cruel witch who trapped him. Together they... There he is, Commander. The dangerous loon who's corrupting our youth with his occult fingerings. What? What's this? What? What are you doing? What's going on? You can't... Hey! Hey, hands off! You're teaching children of magic, old man. You ought to know better. Release me, you dishonorable brute! By the authority vested in me by the Greater Azadi Empire and the Emissary, and in accordance with provisional imperial law prohibiting any and all teachings of occult magic, I'm taking you into custody. You can't do this! You don't know who I am! Tell it to the Magistrate, Wizard. My fingerlings! My precious handcrafted fingerlings! No! Apologies if you could hear my cat meowing. I cannot believe that they arrested him. What a travesty. Hmm. I didn't see that coming. I guess the Azadi aren't fans of creepy puppet shows either. I think it had more to do with him being a wizard. Okay, shit. So what now? He was my only lead to the Soul Stone. All I have to go on is something about a Yaga and Riverwood. Riverwood? I know Riverwood. I've been to Riverwood. If it's Riverwood you need, I know how to get to Riverwood. Really? And the Yaga? The Wicker Witch? I don't know anything about Yagas, but I do know something about witches in Riverwood. On my last trip there, we had a close encounter with one of them. That witch is toast, of course, but I can probably find my way back to Riverwood. It's north. We go north. Wait, which way is up? Yeah, north. Okay. Uh, okay. That's something, right? Much better than nothing. We just need a way to get north that doesn't involve me walking all the way. Or me flying. I'm not flying all that way. I tire easily. No. Wait. I feel a cunning plan coming on. Follow me, Zoe. Uh-oh. Hmm. It's either a cunning plan or I need the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it's a cunning plan. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're actually going to end this part here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye, everyone.